All right, Evan, uh, into the quarterfinals. Uh, when you saw the draw, you know, you were matched up with Massa. You knocked him off the big time. Yeah. You beat him in Vegas. You're 3-0 against him now. Yeah. You got his number, it's safe to say, right now. Yeah. You guys could wrestle again here, right? Yeah. But I'm sure you don't plan on it. You plan on being Saturday yeah. night on the stage. Yeah, exactly. You know, you're you're a huge 165. I look at you, you're 6'2", almost, 6'1". Yeah. You're a big guy. Um, do you think your size throws people off when you step out on the mat? I do, you know, and it's kind of weird because I think people look at me and they overestimate my, estimate my size, but I really only weigh about 169, so I'm not cutting much, and I think that's what contributes to me, you know, being able to go out there and put forth a good seven minutes, you know, that match. I wish I would have got to my offense a little bit more, but I don't know, I was just not, not feeling right before the match, so I kind of needed to build up a little bit. But, um, you know, he's a great competitor, and when, when I saw that draw, I thought it was a little bit unfortunate. You know, we've wrestled a lot, and I think we each bring a lot to the table, and we both know what each other are gonna do. And obviously he had a good game plan. He got to my leg probably five times, so, you know. Um, but, you know, I think that's, I think I'm a little bit in his head right now. And uh, he knows I can go a full seven minutes without breaking. Um, yeah, so now you punch your ticket to the quarterfinals. Yes, what do you need to do to carry this momentum? Um, I think the, the main key to this tournament so far and even Big Tens was just staying in good position. I think throughout the season I took a couple L's and I was just kind of, getting flustered and really worrying about my wins and losses and my record and my ranking and all that stuff. But I'm just kind of trying to go out there and let it fly and just stay in good position, move my hands, move my feet. Something I think I did a little bit better at the end of that match. So I think that's the key, good position. Not a lot of people leave Southern California for Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah. It's a little different. The culture is right. different. The Midwest and the West Coast are very different places. Absolutely. People are people. We get that. But, you know, how, how – you know, you and your twin brother mm. moved from you know, San Marino, California <laughs> to Madison, Wisconsin. What's this been like for you guys? Um, you know, I think I was always prepared to move back east. You know, I was I always tell people I was I was prepared for how cold it was going to be. I wasn't prepared how, for how long it was going to be cold. You know, it just seems like six months out of the year, you're really inside, which I think is what contributes to the great wrestling in this in this region of the country. And, uh, you know, people. They don't have a lot to do in the winter and they just wrestle and I love it and I love wrestling and I, I like that you know so but the people are a lot nicer and all that stuff but I miss going to the beach in February and being 90 degrees outside but all right last thing Barry Davis I saw him over here yeah. this is it three more days today and two more man and that's it he's not your yeah. coach anymore right yeah he's moving on to, to maybe bigger and better things how do you handle that? That's who you came here. That's who recruited you. Yep. You know, you're probably obviously going to stay, would be my, my assumption. But, uh, you know, you look at that. How huge is that? You know, Barry, Barry's done. He's moving on. How do you how do you fill the void? How do you, your, you and your brother still get better and win national titles? You know, it was, you know, shocking. You know, bad news to hear. You know, I was I was shocked, and it was upsetting because, you know, he's one of the, one of the greatest people I've ever met, and he's the main reason I'm at Wisconsin, and to see him. You know, leave was kind of unfortunate, but you know, like you said, he's on to bigger and better things, and we'll see what you know what the program brings to us next. Who the next coach is going to be, um, and you know, we'll take it from there. But for right now, you know, the coaches have been stressing. You know, we'll worry about we'll worry about that stuff later after NCAA's. You know, right now it's we got to worry about NCAA's. We got to worry about performance. So um, I think that's that. But I'm just trying to kind of step into a leadership role. You know, pretty soon here, we're not going to have Barry's not going to be there and. There's going to be a space between Barry and the new head coach, so someone's got to step in and fill that fill that space. And I think we got a couple good people on the team who have been filling that space pretty well. And I think me and my brother really want to fill that space uh, well for the time being. You know. All right, man. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.